Hi there. My name is Sweta Sukumar. I research about food. I write about food and in this week's video we're going to be talking about cheese. I have categorized them into three types: fresh cheese, aged cheese and processed cheese. Let's start with fresh cheese. Uh fresh cheese are um basically have the following properties. They are uh, not aged or matured. They are uh, mild in taste. They have a high moisture content and they have a soft texture. The most popular fresh cheeses are paneer, mozzarella, uh goat cheese and queso fresco. If you take a look at the paneer in the supermarket, you will find uh with paneer with very clean ingredients, milk, vinegar and salt. That's it. No emulsifiers, no preservatives. It's because they are using vacuum packaging and they are refrigerated in the store for up to 90 days they have a shelf life without needing any of the additional additives. Next, moving on to aged cheese. You have hundreds of types of aged cheese, but the most popular ones are Swiss, cheddar, gruyere, gouda and so on. Now, um they all start with the same base ingredients milk rennet uh, uh bacterial cultures salt and then aged over time but why is there so many different varieties it all comes down to a few factors let's start with milk they you can have the milk from a cow sheep or goat and even within the cow there may be different breeds and then they may eat different pastures all of that contribute to the different flavor in milk and then moving on to the cheese maker's practice itself he might he or she might have different ways of acidifying the milk they may use different cultures they may um have retain different moisture levels in the cheese um they may also inoculate the cheese with different bacteria or mold during the ripening process um and also that depends on the temperature and the humidity that the cheese is, is stored in so all of those will affect the final product and the end taste of the cheese now you don't have to go to europe or you don't have to go to a specialty cheese store to access these kind of cheese the mass manufacturers do make uh, many of the you know popular cheese types and they have clean ingredients they are aged maybe not as much as the traditional cheese makers the more the aging the sharper the taste um but other than that you get exactly all the different flavor profiles all the benefits of the good bacteria everything from even from and 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 at a low cost even from the supermarket variety moving on to processed cheese this was invented by uh, an in a inventor called James Kraft the founder of Kraft Industries back in 1916 in chicago he used to own a cheese shop where he would sell these kind of cheeses and he would be left with these ends and um, you know knobs of cheese and he didn't know what to do with them so he basically um, sterilized them in a pot and he canned them and sold them um, you know to extend the shelf life now when he sterilized it and heated it up the aged cheese especially they would separate into proteins and fats the fats would just accumulate in a you know greasy pile to prevent that from happening he added emulsifiers like sodium citrate potassium polyphosphate and so on and it became a nice homogeneous mass and that became the base recipe for processed cheese um, also known as american cheese now uh, the benefit of using this cheese is that it melts very well in a burger or a sandwich um, but then there are two disadvantages one is that it is a pasteurized cheese product so you will not have uh, access to the live cultures that you know you would have in an aged cheese it is heated and those bacteria is killed um the second disadvantage is that it it will have um if you look at the ingredient list you might have other in ingredients other than cheese and the emulsifiers which may include um uh, milk concentrate or uh, uh whey uh, or other ingredients that even sometimes oils that are added to keep the cost low so those are the things that you have to watch out for when you buy processed cheese but they all serve different functions and when you go to a store next time you can choose between a fresh cheese and aged cheese and processed cheese uh, take a look at the labels make sure they are clean labels as much as possible and i hope this video was helpful to you in helping you understand what the different varieties mean i'll see you in the next video with another food item until then thank you and goodbye